Hey everybody, Nathan Osmond here with OsmondHomeLoans.com, part of the elite team at Security Home Mortgage. And I've got the three amigos here with me today. <laughs> this is so fun. Three great realtors who have years and years of experience here in this business. And today we wanted to gather as friends and as real estate professionals to talk about what's happening here in Utah. We're now in November. We're about wrapping up the 22 scene here, getting ready for 2023. We got election day coming up in about a week now. And so, Lindsay, you've been in this business for 40 years. What are you seeing as boots on the ground? What are you seeing out there in the market right now? We're switching back to like a normal real estate time. Like times have been through the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. People are up and they are going up, but they're going up to where they've generally standardly been. Yeah. And it's panicking people. Uh, they're adjusting to the payments, but buyers have really slowed down. Sellers have slowed down. People don't know what to buy. They don't know what theirs is worth. What to spend. Versus what they're buying, selling. That's right. Yeah. What about you, Sean Monson? What are you seeing out there? Utah Same. Zillow Killer. <clears throat> Same. People are just confused. They just don't know what what to do, how to fit in. They're just I think they're waiting, you know, for the month of November to get through because it's, you know, it's a political year. You just don't know what's really going to happen. So people are just I think people are just afraid. I think they're just scared and there's a lot of misinformation out there and it's just trying to get a hold of the right person and nobody has a crystal ball. So you just kind of got got to get the facts. You got to know what's really going on and what's out there. So. Right. That's right. How about you, Dan Palmer? What are you seeing out there? Well, you know, an interesting uh, stats here last quarter. Yeah. And uh, the this time of year, last year, 2021, um, we weren't that far off from the amount of homes that were sold. But I got digging into that deeper, and most of them are being sold for cash because people have a lot of equity. Yeah. So. Uh, and I, I can see we're transitioning into a buyer's market. So I'm seeing the sellers, you know, the, the values uh, weaken a bit mm -hmm. and, and they're coming down, um, which may be a good thing to correct our market to help us, you know, get those people into the payments because it's all about the payment. I mean, nobody cares. Does anybody care how much their house cost in 2021? Mm -hmm. No, the money was cheap and they just wanted to, they, they knew that they could afford the payment. And, yeah. and so that's Absolutely. what was driving the market. Absolutely. You know, something that people need to do is look back through history. History will give us a good idea where the future's going, right? And did you know that I was sitting down with Steve Perry, who's the president of the Salt Lake Board of Realtors. We were having some tacos together. And he says, Nathan, did you know that every 10 years Utah cycles? I said, really? He says, yeah. In fact, though, this little thing called COVID-19 snuck its little head in here, and the whole world shut down and froze, and so did interest rates, so did real estate, and it stayed artificially low for two years. Now what's it doing? It's catching up to where it should have been two years ago. Did you know that over the last 25 years, it actually went down? Only three out of the last 25 years. So you hear these people sometimes out there, right, Lindsay? They're saying, I'm just going to wait till house prices drop. And you're like, well, <laughs> let's open our history books for right. a minute. You know, Utah's landlocked. We, we got lakes, we got mountains. We can't build in the lakes. We can't yeah. build too high in the mountains. And when this land fills in as it is, we're starting to see what we're seeing all up and down I-15. Where's Utah going? Vertically. Yeah. They you just, know, in fact, uh, I was just with Brandon Fugel the other day. And you know what he told me? He says that they just purchased the last parcel of land right there at the very edge of Lehigh by Point of the Mountain. It's this company, and it's called Patterns. They're going to be building an 11 story building at the Point of the Mountain. He says, You're about to be ready to see something cool. Two metropolises coming together. Utah and Salt Lake is wow. now going to be one big. I mean, you look, That's the prisoners cool. are gone. Bluffdale's exploding. There's yeah. a lot of auto yeah. 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 prices to go down. Yeah. What's your advice, Lindsay? Are going. Well, I mean, you, you need to buy now, even with rates going up. At some point in time, you're going to be able to refinance yeah. when they're down. So even if you're overpaying in this market now, yep. it's, it's, it's a better time to get in. But you are buying it cheaper than you were a year ago, even three or four months ago. Yeah. You, you well, let's just marry the house, date the rate. That's right. Yeah, there I you go. I love that. Hey, let's talk about that for a minute, though, okay. because that's the way we're getting a lot of deals done right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of, of, of homeowners out there that have, you know, a 3% interest rate or less in some cases. And, um, you know, so we're having to be creative. So... If you, if there's people out there that have a bunch of equity, they could move over to this house, they could assume that loan, give that guy 
their down payment, you know, their equity, and send him on his way to get into. I mean, even though interest rates are higher, mm -hmm. those other rates are still out there, and we'll help you find them. That's right. Uh, the rates just went over seven, which was, um, you know, the first time they've seen that since 2002 when I got married 20 years ago. But we've been there before. My parents yeah. paid 21 percent in the 80s. Isn't that <laughs> I remember amazing? that on a million dollar piece of property. I just got into real estate, and it was like 18 percent interest. That's and right. guess what homes we were selling? Out in Ochre Shadows there in West Jordan, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, because why? They had assumable loans, That's government right. loans, FHA yeah. loans. And so we, that was that was the only thing I was trying to sell, you know. Yeah. I mean, it was like, forget the rest. But uh, but there's always a way. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, people still have to buy houses. Of, there's always a way. There's another thing called reverse mortgages. Mm -hmm. And some yeah. people, and if you know your clients and stuff well enough, you can help them buy a new house with a reverse mortgage. Yeah. Isn't you know, that amazing? And most people yeah. don't need to be concerned about the rates or anything yeah. because it's based on what they're leaving, what they're having. I like that. Uh, they, I like they that. have the option to either make a payment on that reverse mortgage or they don't even need to make one if they don't want to. Yeah. That's a really good but point. But you can yeah. buy a house with a reverse mortgage. We just did a yes. whole video about that together, which was awesome. Yeah. There's new tools that are out there that aren't new at all. They've been around for years, like the 2-1 buy down. So let's say that the going rate were seven, just to keep the math easy. For the first year, it's gonna be 2% lower than that. So your payment's gonna be 5%. So even though you're qualifying at the seven, this is a seller concession or a builder concession. Yeah. It can't be borrower funded. They have to qualify at the seven, but the nice thing is now they got some breathing room. Now they can afford to go buy that couch. Now they can afford to have that Costco membership. The second year, it jumps up 1% to the 6%, hence the 2-1 buy down. And then the, the third year, they go into the sevens. But the cool thing is if, Mark, if the rates do come back down, and there's talk that they can come back to time. But here's the point, if they do, they could always refinance and any unused yeah. funds from the 2-1 buy down go to the borrower. That's great. That's called prepaid interest. That's yeah. a really good program. There's a lot of a lot of builders right now that are more than happy to, to participate in that two to one buy down. So mm -hmm. absolutely. And another point you make right. is people are saying, "Well, the rates got up seven, eight. You know, the rates are just going up. When you're renting, you're paying a hundred percent. When a renter goes ahead and buys their first new home, they get a tax deduction that's huge." Mm -hmm. And even if they want to split yeah. up part of that money that comes back in taxes and use that as part of their monthly payment for the, like, for the year. There's a lot of creative ideas that real estate agents can help their buyers. Yeah, with. You make a good point, Lindsay, and um, history teaches a lot of things, right? So if we look back to 08, what mm -hmm. happened to values then? I mean, plummeted. they plummeted. But how fast did they come back? Did those homeowners suffer? No, the only Not the ones all. that had to sell. Yeah, the only ones that had to so sell. So as long yeah. as you don't need to sell, you're going to be in great shape. There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, home ownership's always better in the long run. Yep. Yeah. Did you know that back in 1996, the average home price here across the Wasatch Front was $119,000? That wasn't that long ago, no. 1996. And look how high they've increased. Home price here in Utah appreciated over $100,000. Yeah. That's why people right now are looking to get ca their hands on cash. Perhaps they want to consolidate debt. They're worried about things. Well, the cash out refis are still happening. Even though the yeah. interest rates are a little bit higher, it's a great way to be able to consolidate debt. Because I don't know what your credit card interest rate is going to be, but it's probably higher than well, seven. There's a lot of people mm -hmm. doing that and uh, dropping PMI right now. I mean, that's that's right. another great option for people to, to look at. You know, that could save you. You know, people might be struggling with, you know, with fuel prices being Let's so high. Let's explain TMI to, our, to, to our, our listeners, just in case somebody's <laughs> listening and doesn't know what that means. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, right now with the way rates have adjusted, uh, the way, you know, people have got so much equity in their homes, that PMI can be dropped really. And what that is is private mortgage insurance. That's right. And, you know, yeah. with the most, most people have to have that because they don't have the, the amount mm -hmm. of money to put down when they first buy the home. So... <clears throat> show that your house is gaining enough equity since the time you purchased, which most people can. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing a handful a week with some of the things that I do.
Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's really easy to you know gain an extra two hundred dollars. It's a simple process, and yeah, I don't know. You, are you doing a bunch of those right now? Oh, absolutely. And we're also be, we're able to lock the rate now yeah. for up to twelve months. Yeah. So if anything over a ninety day lock requires one percent to be brought up in front, uh, it's, it's not an additional fee. It goes towards the purchase of their home. But if you're pre-approved and you're building a house right now, you might be pre-approved right now, but you may not be in three or four months based on what the feds do, right? Yeah, right? So if you're a builder and you're not sleeping well, we should probably talk as a lender. So I can show you that. You can lock in the rate with your, the person who's building the house. They know what their rate's gonna be. You know you're gonna get paid. Everybody sleeps better. And all it takes is that 1% brought in up front. So that's a really good thing. We're still doing our, because we're all in-house. We don't outsource people's loans. That's a good thing as well. And people say, well, we don't need that now because there's more, things are taking longer. It's not so much of a rush. There's a lot more inventory. But my question is, if the seller has the decision of who's going to be able to buy the house, when do they want their money? Like yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can get people fully underwritten up front, subject to title and appraisal. Yeah. They can close right now. All those conditions have been satisfied by the underwriters up front. I just closed a home last week, uh, last Friday, out in Eagle Mountain. Beautiful home. Beautiful. And, uh, man, if it wasn't for that lock, mm -hmm. they would have been out. In fact, uh, we were on the walkthrough inspection, and the uh, superintendent was like, uh, just a little check in your neighborhood here, that guy bailed, that guy bailed. He named five people that bailed because they didn't lock their loans. And so, wow. yeah, you know, There's a lot of that going on. I, I feel like we can help people with those kind of decisions. Yep. You well, know, it's not because just that when people, I mean, that's, that's a big key, but <clears throat> kind of going back to PMI and some other things that Lindsay brought up with equity and home, you know, people, you know, might be getting laid off, you know, people are starting to get worried about jobs. Like, Mm -hmm. The way the market is, you know, and there's there's a lot of ways to take advantage of some of these situations right now to where you can protect yourself, keep your home. Maybe maybe you do have to sell your home, but, you know, let's get ahead of it before you get to those scary foreclosure, you know, words that come out of your loan awesome. officer. Talk to somebody because there are options for people. Yeah, I'm for, glad you for, brought for that people up. people that are involved or looking to either buy a house or sell their house. Yeah. It's really important with what Sean just said. Make sure you get an agent, uh, somebody that has your best interest in, they're looking to help you. And there's so many fantastic agents out here that they're doing it just because they enjoy helping yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously we get paid for doing this, uh, but I just really love, the, and I love telling the stories of people that I've helped and how uh, it's changed their lives. Yeah, it's, it's so scary. It's, like, I've been through some rough times and you, you don't want to ask for help, and I get it. I didn't want to ask for help, and that was the worst mistake I did. When I finally did, it was almost too late, and I barely got through one of the processes that I had to get through. I'm mm -hmm. glad yeah. you brought that up because I think there's an audience that we need to speak to out there right yeah. now. I had a man was losing his home, and I felt for him because, you know, you get paralyzed with fear and all the stuff coming down yeah. on you. And uh, I was able to come in in time to... Uh, communicate with the lender. I, I got it sold on seller financing. So he carried the note. We got him some cash in his hand to get mm. him, you know, down the road. But the beautiful thing about it is the loan is still in his name. He's going to get, he's going to make those payments on time now for nice. the, as long as this new buyer owns this yeah. property until they refinance. Yeah. And that's going to put him right back in the driver's seat where he can own another home. Mm -hmm. He's that's renting right. right now, you know, but um, man, that was that was a fun transaction because it changed somebody's life. Well, that could change his life in three to six months pretty quick if you yeah. if you structure something like that. So, yeah, that's what it's all about. As real estate professionals, this is a people uh, business. Loans, loan stuff. He can help you get a loan, and he actually cares about people. Wants to make sure they get the best rate, the best deal. Mm -hmm. uh, even has ways that we can help people raise their credit scores. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, if you're afraid that you don't have a high enough score. Uh, reach out to any of us, and we can help you raise your credit score. It's, it's all about, I tell people when I get them on the phone, you get, I mean, all walks of life, obviously, but it's building out that flight flight plan. You know, if you you got to build out a flight plan. You don't know what that flight plan is even going to look like until you talk to this guy right here. Yeah. You can tell me all day long, but I'm not the one looking at the dirty numbers. And once yeah. those things are discovered, then we can, we know. We're going to know if we can take off tomorrow or if we can take off in three months from now. So, so guys, what's the best time for them to contact Nathan 
uh, is it the time of the application? Because it sounds to me like, and I've experienced this, so I'm, I've experienced this, <laughs> so I'm kind of baiting you here, but uh, I'll just tell you outright. Uh, the time to talk to Nathan is before you find the house. Yep. I mean, if you've got some some you know snags on your on your credit report or whatever, some hiccups here and there, talk to Nathan. Yeah. Nathan's got great ideas to help you get that cleaned up. And man, I'll tell you what, it makes a difference when y it feels pretty good that. to walk out knowing you got the best rate. What really is terrible is when you talk to your neighbor and they go, mm -hmm. oh, I got a mm -hmm. percent lower than you did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just a, it's about, about building that plan, you know, and you can't, you don't know what that plan is going to look like until you talk to that yeah. law officer. That's and they right. don't teach us this in school. Here's the first step in buying a home, no. get pre-approved. Yeah. Because if you're, if you're going to these open houses and visiting with these guys and you don't have one of those pre-approval letters, that's a lot like going to Vegas and sitting down at a poker table with no <laughs> chips. They're not going to let you play, <laughs> right? They're not going to take you seriously. So that's where we come in is let's, let's get you pre-approved. Let's find out what you're approved for so that you can know yeah. where it is. Yeah. And, and that helps you guys with your jobs to be able to find exactly the house that they can afford. Well, you don't, you don't that makes it a lot to, more fun. You don't go into 7-Eleven knowing that you don't have any money in your wallet. You know that you've, you've counted out 250 you can spend 250 on a candy bar or whatever. That's right. You know, so you can't do it with home shopping either. So. Well, and I can say this about Nathan. I have referred people to him a year ago that he's still working with. They haven't found a house yet, but Nathan's getting them ready. You guys, get with Nathan before you go out into the market. Get yourself ready. You know, it's like going out on a date, man. You got to stand in the mirror for a while, get yourself cleaned up, and then That's you're right. ready. <laughs> well, we're willing to do things that a lot of lenders aren't. Because if you're, just so you know, 720 is best pricing all across the board for any government loan. So if you're not, say, a 715, oh, if I can do what's called the Wayfinder, we got a tool in our office that allows us to go in and say, okay, Bill, if you'll just pay this credit card 100% off and this 30%, okay, guess what? You have a 97.3% chance of getting a 7 30, you know, and that's a big deal because now that their pricing is going to change. Yeah. They're going to get better pricing. Yeah. If you're a 740, that's best pricing all across the board for conventional. 760, best pricing conventional and best pricing PMI. But these are things that they don't teach us in school. So as a lender, I love to educate people. I love to teach them, okay, let me show you how we can strategize this. It's not one size fits all. My very, my very first, every case, that's what I call it, is different. Mm -hmm. Behind every door is a human story. Yeah. And you're going to hear some happy ones and some sad ones. Mm -hmm. But every one of us has something about real estate. We ought to live somewhere. Real estate mm -hmm. has made more millionaires than any other industrial investment combined, said Andrew Carnegie. I think they, he was pretty successful. <laughs> and I would listen to that because one thing we all have in common, what do we need to survive? Food, water, and sure. shelter. And how long has that been popular? Forever. <laughs> and it will continue to be. You know, rent, you talked about rent is 100%. Interest, guess what? Rent to me is a four letter word and a musical. <laughs> 525,600 minutes is how long you're blowing your money. Yeah. All year, you're throwing it away that many minutes a so day. True. That's so sad. Yep. So, we'd like to turn you into a homeowner. So, give us a call. Contact these guys. I'm putting their numbers right here on the screen. These are phenomenal realtors. realtors you guys, I, every single day. Can I just add this one more time? Please do. You know, don't come to Nathan when you think you're ready. Come to him before you're ever ready. Yes. He'll get you ready. He'll let you know when you're ready. Yeah. Let uh, us help you. I mean, he'll he'll stand by you through the whole process. If like, it takes two years, five years, he'll be there. Yeah. I, I mean, that, that, everybody guys. needs a time to be ready, and you'll know when that time is. That's, that's right. right. Yep. And if you're not ready, we'll tell you why and what to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. Exactly. People appreciate honesty. And I found that even if somebody says, hey, can I come get a construction loan? Absolutely. Is it the best place to get it? Probably not. Let me tell you why. I got a guy down the street that will give you 5% down. And when I shoot straight with somebody like that, you want to do a HELOC? Let me send you here. But if you want to do a cash out, I'm your guy. You know what I'm saying? Those types of things help to build honesty and trust and forever clients because people love it when you just shoot straight with them. That's where I get from my grandparents on both sides. Osmond. There you go. It stands for divine protector. That's what Osmond means. We want to protect people in the larger their lives, their homes. It's probably going to be the biggest investment they ever make. Yeah. That's and the so, other reason we hang out with him because he sings to us. You there know, you go. That, that was awful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where are you at on my refi? 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Did it again. You guys. Well, I love working with these guys. But listen, if you guys have any questions, we'll be doing more of these uh, coming up here shortly. So make sure you subscribe to our channel here. And like I said, give these guys a call. All phenomenal. I tell you, I love working with pros. So thanks for joining us today.